So I'm back with another recreation video and today we're gonna be doing these beautiful bead nails. Oh, these are so cute. And these are from Mumber One Nails. It has like a little bead on the top and it looks like it's a wire. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's a wire. And the full set, she has like these seed beads as well. So, um, oh, that's cute. It's a better angle. So as you can see, she got the beads going on. I think this is so cute and creative. I thought I saw a video of her doing this. I'm pretty sure there's one on her profile. All right, so the video is from her TikTok and it does show in detail how she did this nail. So we went ahead and filed and made like a, some lines and like a little crevice for the wire to sit into a little canal. And then she thread the bead, cut it, and then looks like some more poly gel or something. Went ahead and filed and painted. Okay, all right. That's simple enough. <laughs> Ooh, these are so cute. All right, I'm ready. Let's get to it. I've already done my nail prep, you know, as far as the filing and all that stuff. And now we're gonna put on some nail tips. I'm gonna go in with these natural color tips. It doesn't look like she used tips, but I'm gonna use tips today. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go ahead and um, pick out my sizes. All right, got majority of them on. And the last is the thumb. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and place that on like that. And for the bigger nails, I just like to squeeze the sides just to make sure everything is glued down. All right, nails are all on and we're gonna go ahead and trim these. I do need a little bit of length uh, just so we can have room, you know, for our bead and all that stuff. Mm, no, I think I may keep them like that. I want them long, but not, not crazy long. <laughs> I say that all the time, but y'all, life is getting a little more active now with a toddler. <laughs> So the long nails just don't be working for me anymore. When it, not the super long nails. Now I can, you know, this this is a very everyday functional length for me. <laughs> I know it's long to others, but y'all know back in the day I used to wear my nails like this long. It's uh, it's not as pretty to do it that long anymore. <laughs> You know, depending on the nail design, but I kind of want to keep these on for a few weeks and start back doing this hand. I've given this hand a rest for about uh, two or three weeks. So we can go ahead and take these nails off afterwards. And then that will be the next video. So let me go ahead and prep the tips. I'm just going to take a hand file and just take the shine away. I used to think this part didn't matter, um, but yeah, you wanna take the shine away from your nail tips. Cause there is a rare case that if you're doing like poly gel, it could peel away from the nail tip. So today I'm gonna be using patty gel and I don't want that to happen. So yes, definitely take the shine away from your nail tip. And we also want to blend in uh, so it can have a nice smooth transition from the natural nail. Don't foul too much, but you know, you just wanna make sure you can't like feel where the nail tip starts. All right, so the nails are all prepped and now I'm gonna go in with this base coat. The feels so good. <laughs> yeah, I think it does feel good. I'm just kind of bouncing around with base coats, testing them out to see what I like. So I'm just gonna, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> don't need that much this one is pretty thick too so a little goes a long way mm, i normally don't take it onto the tip but why not i'm just gonna go ahead and just paint it all on like i said i want these nails to last a couple weeks <laughs> i won't be taking them off so we can get a nice layer base just trying to keep it really thin. All right, go ahead and cure that and do that for the rest of the nails. Base is all on and cured. And now I'm gonna go in with Patty Gel in Pink Nude. One of my favorite nude colors. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get out a little bit. Don't need too much. And taking my brush dipped in alcohol, we're just gonna go ahead and tap this in place. Color is beautiful. So yeah, as always, I like to work around the cuticle area first. Really making sure it's nice and tight. And as you can see, it just lets you, you have all the time in the world. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this in shape. Okay, so I'm just 
just gonna go ahead and perfect the shape a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. All right, that one's nice and cured. We're gonna move on to the next and squeeze out a little bit more. It does take some practice to know how much to squeeze out. <laughs> but once you get the hang of it, you know, it's not it's not that hard to figure out like how much you may need for your size nail. And once again, I'm going in with isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution. And we're just gonna go ahead and start around that cuticle area. Now, I do wanna say that all poly gels are not made the same, okay? <laughs> they are all not the same. Some of them are loose and sometimes you do lose your shape. And you know, they all serve their purpose, but I like for mine to kind of keep its shape as you're working with it. Like I don't like runny. I like it to be thick and just, you know, you being able to mold it. Not too stiff, but stiff enough to where it's gonna keep your shape. And so that was the mindset behind creating Patty Gel. In case y'all didn't know, Patty Gel is it's my brand, okay? So, you know, if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and shop down below or you can check out my website, longhairprettynails.com. So, just like before, we're just gonna go ahead and pat this in place. Oh, I love this pink nude color, y'all. Y'all know how I feel about the, the soft pinks and the, and the baby pinks <laughs> and the nude colors. I just really, really like them. I think they really complement like my skin tone. I don't know, it just, when I see colors, see some really good nude colors, like it just, just makes me happy. And this is one of my happy colors. <laughs> okay. I love how fast it is to do these as well. Like once you get your shape, the way that you like it, and go ahead and make sure that's nice and crisp. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. All right, all of the patty gel is laid. Oh, if I wasn't doing a nail design, like I would totally just wear these, okay? <laughs> all right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the tacky layer with some alcohol. This is important. You know, you gotta do your filing and shaping and you don't want your um, nail drill or your file to get clogged up with this gel. So I like to go ahead and take this opportunity to wipe off the tacky layer. And my hands, also, cause sometimes, you know, <laughs> you don't mean to, but sometimes you may touch something and then just it's just sticky, sticky, sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and get the dust collector out. Try to keep my area neat and my lungs clear. <laughs> Nails are all filed, shaped, and buffed. So now we get to get to the fun part. <laughs> Hopefully I can put a hole in these nails without breaking them. The fan, I'm a, I gotta keep this fan on. So it might be a little loud. I'll try to like talk, but I don't know. But here we go. <laughs> So for the little grooves for the wire, I think I wanna switch over to a smaller drill bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this smaller one. I think that'd be better to make sure it stays like straight and not like widen up. Back to the dust collector. I'm gonna switch the drill bit out again. That was a lot of drilling, okay? I haven't done drilling like that and I don't think I've ever done <laughs> drilling like that. But this is what I have so far. <laughs> it's starting, you know, it's coming along. Here are the beads that I have. 
I picked these up from Amazon. I should have picked up some, um, like some seed beads as well, but okay. Oh, this is like a friendship bracelet kit. <laughs> okay, so this is like, it's like stretchy. I don't know if I wanna use that. I'ma stick to the wire. So I got some copper wire. The last time I got 0.2, I think. Yeah, I got the 0.2 millimeter. So this time I decided to go up a notch. So I got three and four. Oh, the three thick. This one is really thick. I think, let's just do a little test to see which one. Not really sure what gauge her wire was, so. See, I don't want it to bend either. Let's use the tweezers that it was provided with. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bead this on here. Okay, just a test. Oh, um, my beads aren't big enough, huh? Okay, uh, let's move these out the way a little bit. So it'll go in here something like this. Oh, that is cute. <laughs> okay, I think I like the four. The four is stiffer. Uh, since I do plan on keeping these on for a little bit, I wanna make sure that the wire is not gonna bend or anything. I think it should be all right. The next one is deciding what color. I don't know. All right, I decided on the pink and the blue. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut a little bit of this off. And I'm gonna use the clear patty gel to um, tack this down to the nails. Let's get a little bit of that out right now. You just need a little bit. So it's gonna go something like that. Oh, that fits right in there. Perfect. Uh, oh, this is hard to do <laughs> with one hand. Mm, so I'm gonna just put a little bit down and we want it to be like right here. It would it would be nice if I had some type of clip or something, but what I'm gonna do is just kinda twirl some patty gel at the end of this. I'm gonna just sit it like that. All right, so we're gonna pull out my handy dandy Melody Susie gooseneck. <laughs> this thing has been a lifesaver. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna like put it in the crevice, hold it, something like that. If I can at least like make it to where it's not gonna be bumpy. So yeah, go ahead, smooth that out. And we cure. All right, that's on now. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and thread on the bead. Ooh, oh, that's cute. <laughs> All right, so then we need to cut this. So I'm gonna cut it like right here and then just tuck that right there. And then we're gonna just put some more clear patty gel right down there. I'm gonna put some more over here too, just to make sure. It was only a tiny bit. Ooh, I love it when things go to plan. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I'm gonna just go ahead and pat this out. Like I said, I want this to be as smooth as possible. We're gonna file a little bit over this, but not too much. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this in my full strength lamp. Make sure we lock everything in place. And there we have it. Does it move? Okay, yeah, it does move. My bead is a little bit smaller. Didn't really know, but it's okay. Cause that's cute. So we're gonna do the same thing for the ring fingernail. Grabbing a little bit of this. I'm just gonna cut. The 0.4 millimeter is like perfect for this. It's pliable, but it's not like super thin. Once again, getting a little bit of the patty gel. And I just need a little bit to kind of tack it down. And then I'll go back in with the correct amount. All right. Ooh, that sits perfectly. So yeah. <laughs> I need, I need a third arm. Okay, I'm gonna have to just turn it on first and then cure. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on top and pat that, smooth it out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Nice and cured. All right, and then we're just gonna thread this on. All right, and I'm gonna cut it right here. Put 
put some more patty gel and just seal this down. All right, finished curing and we're just gonna go ahead, wipe this off. And I just wanna check to make sure it moves and it does. All right, so I'm not gonna file too much. I'm gonna use the 180 side and just lightly file to kind of just blend everything in. Keyword, lightly. <laughs> like that. And once again on the thumb. Oh, I kind of wish I had a bigger bead. Like if it was just a little bit bigger, maybe two could have fit. It's all right. <laughs> then I'm gonna buff a little bit just to get everything smooth. Try not to buff the bead because we want to keep the shine. All right, I think we are done with our beads. Next is just to like decorate it. I am gonna try to do like the seed beads and like thread them like how she did. We'll see how that turns out. But first I have to go ahead and paint. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some base coat. We just wanna, you know, have a nice smooth base. We're gonna be going in with a lot of polish. So I just wanna make sure it looks good. And this is just gonna be a thin layer. Okay, this one, it's not gonna be too tricky. You just, you know, you obviously don't wanna paint the bead. And so we just slide it on the side and smooth you down a little bit. <laughs> Just want to make sure everything is covered. And you got to hold your breath or you're going to mess up. <laughs> Ooh, don't that look good? Like glossy just by itself. <laughs> All right, so going in with this pink polish from Tiny, we're going to do the entire nail pink. Yeah, you, you kind of got to be creative with like how you're going to do this. <laughs> My main goal is just to cover the gold part. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to do this with this brush, but if I need to, I'll get a nail art brush out. And just carefully paint. Okay, so I haven't cured this yet, and I was debating if I wanted to keep the, like, the base pink. I don't think I wanna do it like that. I want to have like geometric shapes. So <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. I'm trying to get it all off without <laughs> leaving anything. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do like some, some geometric blocks of gel polish instead of painting the entire nail because I don't like how it looks. You know, these recreations aren't gonna be exact. It's gonna be what I like. <laughs> it's gonna be my twist on it. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my palette. My bad, I thought y'all saw that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do like a little box here. Okay, we're just gonna do a little outline. I don't know, something. Something cute. All right, that's what that looks like after two coats. And now I'ma go in with this blue. I'm gonna put this on the palette as well. All right, and I'm just gonna do some minimalistic lines. All right, that's what I got. So while I got the brush already loaded up with the blue, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, just alternating colors. So yeah, just, you know, that's something different. It's kind of helping me work with my line work. It's been a minute. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this purple and we're gonna do the same minimalistic lines. Trying to keep them straight. <laughs> Something like that. Y'all gotta remember too that I'm using my non-dominant hand. I'm left-handed. I kind of always struggled. <laughs> always struggled with uh, my line work. It just takes, you know, a little bit more time, a little bit more effort. But the lines are gonna be straight, okay, honey? All right, that is the thumb. Making sure that it still moves, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a like a little rectangle strip with the darker pink. I'm gonna use the brush to kind of put most of the paint on. All right, 
I feel like it's kind of missing something, so I'm gonna just go in with some white. All right, this is what I have. I did my little white stripes. So now I'm gonna go in with this matte top coat. We're just gonna put this on. Ooh, I actually like how that looks matte. Okay, I'm gonna paint the rest of the painted nails matte. Okay, so now we're gonna do our little lace. Well, the like six holes that need to go in here. Once again, pulling out the nail dust collector. All right, simple enough. Oh, let me turn this down. <laughs> See, I had this up high. <laughs> that didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. Get some beads. Just sprinkle a little. I only need like three, so. I'm actually gonna go with the very, very thin wire that I used. Um, I don't know, let me see something right quick. Can't decide if I want to use, cause I think this would probably be too big. Let's see. Oh, you know what? It's actually not. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same, um, the same wire. All right, yay. I wasn't sure if like these tiny, like really tiny seed beads, if they were gonna be able to be threaded on this, but it's all good. So here we go. Don't really know how much I'm gonna need. It ain't gonna be that much, but this should be enough for me to sew my beads with. All right, so I just need to take a quick look at this video to see how we sewing. Okay, we start from the bottom the two strands and then go inside. Oh, okay, I'm a little rusty, but <laughs> I used to like make these little bead uh, bracelets and stuff when I was younger with the beading loom and all of that. Oh, that is so cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and thread this through and thread it through. Everything is dusty, but <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and pull these through. That is so cool. Oh, I may not be able to do a double. All right, so I'm just trying to see where to put it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring this up closer to me, y'all, sorry. All right, we, we got the bead on there. And then we just slide that down. And then we have to thread it through again. Oh, see, that's gonna be the issue. <laughs> all right, it is a little stuck. That's all right, that's all right. We're gonna have to switch back to our original plan was to... All right, I didn't account for the doubling of the thread, so we are gonna have to use this one. This one's the thin one. And just gonna cut a little bit of that. Take two. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and thread that through. And then the other side. Oh yeah, I can't see. And then we're gonna try to even this out a little bit. So go ahead and pull that up. And then we're gonna grab one of these beads. Slide it down. And then thread this one. And thread this one through here. Okay, and then trying to pull this with, <laughs> this is a two hand, this is a two person job. You need four hands. Okay, so we got that like that. And then we're gonna feed this into here. And this one into here. And like so. Go ahead and pull that. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, and we're just gonna repeat the process. Look at me, hand sewing a nail. <laughs> All right, two more stitches to go. I'm sorry, y'all, this, this bead is so little. I'm trying to get it on here. Okay, there we go. And then now we have to thread it this way. This is so chaotic, y'all. Oh, why did I pick clear? Okay, there we go. Oh, don't go away. Okay, push through, push through. 
All right, we got that one. Whew. <laughs> All right, so we got that, and I'm gonna thread this through here. I don't wanna pull it too hard, but okay. And then mm, this one, do this hole. Okay, kinda wanna. Mm. Okay, see, so you see this one has a little, has too much give. Mm. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'd be scared to pull a little tight because I don't want to break the wire, but yeah, you got to pull a little bit. All right, so this is how the back is looking. And I'm just going to put this through here. And pull that through. This through here. <laughs> All right, our final stitch. Let's see if the tweezers will help me. Okay, we're gonna put this through here. Oh, yay, that did help. <laughs> okay, so we got that. And then this one has to be fed through here. Oh, okay, y'all see the, <laughs> it's there. All right, and then I'm just gonna like pull it down. Try to do it evenly. Oh, I definitely have to try this again with like bigger beads. I was a little too safe this time and didn't know how, how big I can go. But I can get a little big with these beads and they'll be cute. All right, so. <laughs> okay, we need to pull this one. Need to pull this one a little tight. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. All right, so that is that. I did it. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just like finish off the underside. We are gonna twist this up real nice and tight. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna leave a little hang time right there. And then I'm gonna just, oh, that might be a little too much. Okay, no, we gonna, we gonna cut a little bit more off. All right, and then we're just gonna fold this down in here. It's hard to do it when you already got nails on. Okay, I like that. And then taking some of the clear, just a little dollop. First, I'm just gonna wipe it because it was some dust in there. So a little bit of alcohol, wipe off the dust. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit in there. And part of it was a lot, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna flatten this. Secure the underside. And you just wanna be careful to not like push it through. I still want the holes to be like, you know, open. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. So here is the finished look. I decided to go ahead and do the matte on the middle finger and the pinky, and I just think it all looks good matte. Ooh, this actually spins. Oh, I wish I would have used a bigger bead on the thumb, but this one is the perfect size for the ring fingernail. And then we can't forget our little bead stitch, little shoelace. <laughs> that is cute. I was always scared to do like the little drilling through the nails and putting little dangles on. I was mainly concerned about drilling through the nail. I kid you not y'all, I just got proficient <laughs> with the nail drill to where I'm able to do stuff like this. Before I was scared and I didn't want to hurt myself, so. So my nails are done and I'm gonna see what Marcus thinks of them. Hi. Yeah, well, it must be the nails, you filming me. <laughs> what you got? What you think? <laughs> <laughs> First thing I see is this opening. It, it spins. What? Y'all going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Look at some buttons. I saw that. Yeah, you see you see the stitch. You see it. Oh, 
It's like the new fidget spinner. Right? And then this one bigger. <laughs> I should have put a bigger bead, but you know. Wow. Wow. You like? That's cool. Oh, fancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that look like a button for real. I know, right? That's, that's cool. Your wife's cool, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but yeah, I am gonna have to try the hole in a nail <laughs> more often because this is cute. So yeah, mine is, you know, my Eevee twist, but I think I did a good job on these. So if you enjoy me recreating nail designs, check out these videos right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.